Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, well, I want to talk about new installations and some of the faults or two of the faults that installers make and you, the homeowner, should look out for. Now, for years and years and years, 20 years plus, every so often I get invited to a factory for a tour of the production line, have lunch, uh, maybe sit on a course, and grab a freebies and, and, and so on, and lots of literature. And I, I love that, it's a nice day out. And many moons ago, as I do regularly to each factory, I get shown maybe to the call center. They're the people who answer the phones to installers and there'll be another group to answer phone calls from end user or anybody else, for instance. And I ask the same two questions. Number one, customers. Why are they phoning the factory? What's their biggest problem? And they can't get the answer from the installer. And the number one complaint is the installer does not show them how to use the controls. Nobody does. Now, obviously, on a new build, they're not going to see the installer. But, so they have to phone the factory. But on most of the occasions, 95% plus, the homeowner or the owner will see the installer and at the end of the job it's their job to i'm repeating myself job job anyway it's their place to show the end user how to use the controls and the best settings for the boiler to make the system nice cheap and economical to run so that's the number one complaint that doesn't happen the other gripe in installers make a fault with is they don't phone back. Customers phone for an estimate and they don't receive a phone call back saying I'm either too busy or I don't do that or any. They just ignore customers, which doesn't look good. And that's always been the case in this country. I don't know why. There's somebody phoning me up and saying I've got thousands of pounds to give you. Do you want it? And installers say... Well, they don't say anything. They just don't reply. So that's the biggest problem customers have with installers. But the complaints about the factories, about the installers and why they phone, are two things. One, the engineer from the factory going to a job with supposedly an error fault or a, or a complaint. The number one fault is undersized gas pipe. Too much 15 mil, not enough 22, or even worse, not, no 28. If the boiler's in the loft, you need at least 28 mil from the meter up to the loft, which you'll see coming up in the video. This is common sense, and this is why Mr. Combi gas pipe sizing calculator is a godsend, because it'll work out which size pipe, how long, elbows and all the rest of it. It's absolutely brilliant. I designed it with the people who make apps and it's been a great success for the last hundred years or whenever it came out. I don't know. It's been there so long, it's unbelievable. Anyhow, too many installers are not using the app and it is compulsory. You have to do a gas rate and a gas pipe sizing app on every new gas installation. And they're not being done. And therefore, customers are being put in danger unnecessarily. So if you live in a house and you've got a gas hob and let's say a combi boiler, which is the easy test, put the smallest burner on low setting, simmer. Then turn on the hot tap and then go back to the hob and see what's happened to that flame. Is it still on the way you left it or has it disappeared and it's gone out? which happens all too often, and that's danger. So the customer has to make two phone calls. Obviously, turn the boiler off and leave it off. You need to phone gas safe on their number, which will come up, and also the emergency number 0800 111 999 to get an engineer around to make the system safe because you're in imminent danger of an explosion because neat gas is coming out. And that's a very simple job which installers still won't do. And I've been hearing this from boilers, manufacturers for years. 
and just a, a month or so ago, I was in one particular firm and having a lovely day out. Thank you very much. And I asked us those questions. And the uh, when I was having lunch with the engineers, and then I asked them, what, what are you finding? And they often say, well, sloppy wiring, uh, badly connected pipes or not connected pipes, controls not wired up correctly, and undersized gas pipe. So in this video, I'd like to highlight a few things. So now end users, you know how to test the little burner and make sure it is safe. And installers, please download the app and use it because you're going to get a visit from the gas inspector who will suspend you immediately. And they may ask you, almost certain to ask you, to see the last five jobs that you've done, if not more. And you will be suspended until they've seen all five or six jobs. And that could take them a month because they're not going to rush around because you're not going to be working. They don't care. GasSafe only wants to have 100% perfect engineers. And if you're not doing that, they'll chuck you out. Or at least they'll suspend you. Which is not a good system. And it's not good for you. So please, installers... Do the gas rate calculation, do all the other jobs that you should be doing and show the customer how to use the controls. That way they will recommend you and all is well. What more do we want? So please enjoy the video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe and like our channel because that helps us a lot with the anagrams that the the uh, anagrams is it um, uh, i don't know i'm going alzheimer's here now uh, anyway the uh, the analytics of youtube and google so please subscribe and share and that lot and enjoy the video all the best and take care When it comes to apps, I'm very pleased to say that the ones that we make have been extremely popular and not only are they downloaded in the UK but across Europe, America, Canada, Australia and lots of other countries as well which is absolutely amazing. Most of them abroad use the wiring apps because they're in colour. But going back to here, one of the most popular apps that engineers download is the gas rate one. So that means that we can work out whether any of these boilers are actually working 100% efficiently and the gas rate compared to what the boiler is doing and what the manufacturer is saying is exactly the same. And you'll find the information from that in the manufacturer's instructions, technical information, and use our app to calculate the efficiency and it's working properly and safely, of course. If you're installing a new gas boiler or hob or oven or fire, any appliance, you have to calculate the gas pipe from there back to your meter. Now it can be done with a calculator and a piece of paper, but our app makes it much easier, simpler, and most importantly, accurate. The object of the exercise is to make sure that all of the pipes around the house are the right diameter to feed that appliance. When we're changing the boiler, we definitely have to do that because it's a compulsory requirement that we do a gas rate and a gas pipe size evaluation to make sure that everything works perfectly and safely. The problem arises on a gas hob or stove, it's the smallest burner or really any burner that's on the lowest flame. Because when the boiler starts working, it will then snuff that flame out. When the boiler finishes and drops out, that burner will just emit natural gas, unburnt gas, which is extremely dangerous, of course, because it could close, uh, cause an explosion. So it's crucial for everybody's safety 
that the size of the pipe is perfect. And that's what the gas pipe sizing app does. So as you have a gas appliance replaced or something may be not quite right, the boiler may stay on and on and on for long periods and never switch off. It could be that when the boiler was changed, the installer didn't do a gas rate and they didn't do all the other tests because either they don't get time or they just can't be bothered. But that results into high gas bills and danger. So if you are a registered gas installer, download the app and make sure that you use it because you'll be surprised at how many houses have pipes too small and we need to update them and especially if you move the boiler from the kitchen to the loft you're going to revolve much larger pipes forget 22 mil you might have to take 28 or 34 mil pipes all the way up to the loft which is going to be a huge cost so the app is there to help you make sure that you get the correct size the app is designed to work with the following gases, which is natural gas, butane and propane. If your meter has a dial, that's known as imperial measurements. Not a problem. The app will still work as well as obviously the digital side. And to either measure one minute or two minutes in time. Well, nowadays the UK is finally conformed to European standards and only use one minute as a timer. You can also do a let by test and make sure that it's all stabilized and everything is working fine. It really is a very comprehensive app and every gas safe installer should use that. If you have any comments, please leave them down below where I've put the other links as well. So all the best and take care.